Hey guys, here's step seven of building your own website. For this step, you're going to create a Gravatar. What's a Gravatar? Well, it's a portmanteau of globally recognized avatar. I mean, obviously. But maybe there's a better way to explain this. With Gravatar, you can associate an image with an email address. And then when you use that email address around the web, the image shows up too. This is particularly useful in a course like ours, where we're going to be commenting on one another's blog posts. Your comments will then be accompanied by the image you've selected. So let me show you how to create a Gravatar. The first thing you need to do is go to gravatar.com. Once you're here, click on Sign Up in the upper right corner. Enter an email address that you want to have associated with your Gravatar account and click Continue. Then check your email to click on the verification link. Now you're logged into Gravatar. You'll see the option to upload an image from your computer. Go ahead and find an image that you would like to use and click Open. Now you're seeing here that once again, I'm uploading an image of myself. Just like with your About page, you are free to use an image of yourself, but you're absolutely not required to. Once the image has been uploaded, go ahead and frame it as you'd like, adjusting it however you need. And then click Crop Image when you're done. Gravatar will then ask you to rate your image for the content that it contains. Now, let's be honest, anything you're uploading for use in our class should, of course, be rated G. And so just go ahead and click Set Rating. And now you've got an image associated with an email address. You can notice that you can actually add more email addresses to your account and more images. And so you could associate different images with different of your email addresses and use them differently across the web. But that's not something you need to do at this point. And that's it. Step seven is done. You have created a Gravatar.